an unbroadcast section of a BBC radio interview you did in 1978, recently came to light, included on a, a Pill album. And you were talking about making a film where you kill famous people. Now, this has never been played on television before, but it has a particular uh, relevance. Let's listen to this. So who else is on the goner list? Oh, it's endless, believe me. I just want to make a film of it. On film, I'd like to kill Jimmy Savile. I think he's a hypocrite. When I write... I bet he's into all kinds of seediness. That we all know about, but we're not allowed to talk about. I know some rumours. <laughs> I bet none of this will be allowed out. I shouldn't imagine libelous stuff will be allowed out. Nothing I said is libel. The fact that in 1978, at the height of the Sex Pistols explosion, there you are saying about Jimmy Savile, he was into all kinds of seediness that we all knew about, we weren't allowed to talk about it, I know some rumours. So you, you had heard the kind of thing that we now know about him or, yeah. or stuff like that? Yeah. I think most kids did too. Most kids wanted to go to the top of the pops, but we all knew what that cigar muncher was up to. But I'm very, very bitter that the likes of Savile and the rest of them were allowed to continue. Did you ever try and do anything about Savile? I did my bit. I said what I had to. Did they air that? No. It just got suppressed. Yeah. For, for legal reasons. Yeah. And, uh, did you meet, I, I found did you myself, meet? I found myself being banned from BBC Radio there for quite a while for my contentious behaviour. Because of that... They wouldn't state this directly. There'd be other excuses. I mean, it's shocking. Oh, so yeah. He got away with it for another 30-odd years. Well, not only him, a whole bunch of them. And these are the purveyors of good taste, huh? You were too offensive. Brilliant, isn't it? Well, I'm still here, and the rest of them, what, what are still alive, nice bit of jail time for them. Jail time! <laughs>